Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, A War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Rise of the Robots campaign. I promised robots and we're still not fully at the sparks, but we are getting very, very close. Today we're going to do a supply raid. It is Operation Drunken Whale and we got a side trip going, which means we will be able to observe every enemy movement. Now that is promising and I flew around with the Sky Ranger just a tiny bit to get Hogbite uh, again back into the team. Everyone else is um, equipped uh, with our good old laser rifles or magnetic weapons rather. The unfortunate truth is however we only have four hit points on each of uh, the rookies meaning uh, this is pretty much going to be a very alpha strike focused game. Let's hope I can win the mission because uh, then we're finally at uh, the proving grounds aka the sparks that we were looking for. And here we go. All right, look at that. We are landing. Good. Same for rookies as so often. We got Hogbite leading the fray. Let's take a good look what we're up against. Ouch. Wow, that's a tough pack. Mutants now in month number three together with uh, Max. So that's a lot of hit points. Holy shit. Mutant Lancer plus Purifier. That's also quite a few hit points that pack here is easier and do we have another pack somewhere no okay the vast advantage of knowing exactly where the enemy is is of course we can just take high ground don't even need to take cover yet. Because we know that they cannot reach us in just one round. But of course, they're also taking high ground. Luckily for us, I think there is a high gr even higher ground, so to speak. Which means we could fight them on high gr higher ground as opposed to high ground. This here is far enough away. Let's see, we do not need anyone to stay outside of cover. Let's try to aim for that higher ground that I was talking about. Good. So we know that they are tendentially going to move into our direction. And that's okay. We can separate the picks far enough from one another. That's totally fine. I'm not too concerned about the last pack, but I am pretty concerned about the first pack, to be honest. Can't really take any cover here. So this here a valid high ground. I mean, technically, yes, we could stay up here. Let's try to somewhat get the high ground up here. Beat, beat. I comply. Good. I am watching. Scan a beat. The mass of growing shows the arrogance. If the pack is going to move this way, or even that way, we should be fine. Uh, 
They decide to fall back on to lo the low ground. Gotta be careful with the second pack. Like I said, we don't want to pull both of them. Could move all the way over here. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Good. Uh, it's not an overwatch trap per se, but we are having a pretty decent positioning nonetheless. So it is decided. Okay. Interesting sort of separation. Normally the packs tend to stick together. All right, I'm absolutely not scared about the, uh, the position of the other packs. Might as well start with the first pack now. In terms of starting, got a very good chance to hit the mutant and there is even a crit chance. So let's do an overwatch with uh, True Rabble. And we're starting the mutant. The overwatch w should hit the mutant as well. That's a fantastic crit. And that's another hit. Wonderful. Most dangerous foe is immediately eliminated. Got another shot right there. And you know what? Might as well liberally use teamwork here. Unfortunately, can only hit that guy and not the Mac. Probably not enough to kill it. Yeah, I don't like using the grenade, but at the same time, standing so close together will automatically trigger rockets, and I don't want that to happen as well. So, what we're going to do is we're killing it and standing in the open that way, Hogbite almost automatically is going to trigger the shot and we'll parry it. There we go. Successfully manipulated the AI into thinking that we are vulnerable when we're not. Hogbite gets all of his focus. We're still on a decent amount of distance away. Don't want to go for the loot yet. Question that I'm asking myself is: Shall we move in a bit closer? Answers probably yes. And let's just take full cover for now. This probably should not trigger. Not yet. No, it's too far away. Roger that. 
Yeah, I'll prefer to have the Overwatch trap instead of going for the loot. The loot is fine, don't get me wrong, but it's not the end of the world not getting that. The way, way, way more important part is to get all of the Alarium and Alien Alloys here. And that requires us to deal with the packs in an efficient matter. Solid copy. See your loss. Okay, we're doing a pretty decent overwatch trap here. Don't want to trigger a second pack. So we've got to be careful. Elsewise, this might um, end up to be a, tra um, a trap where we're effectively triggering two packs at the same time, and we do not want that to happen. So, slight movement back. Let's hope that one of them and only one moves into our direction. Uh, these guys are moving back and forth and back and forth. We are continuing to stay exactly where we are. I have a pretty strong feeling that one of them will run into us and the other one will not. This pack is currently moving back or to the side. All right, they have now decided to cluster up, which is, by the way, also a fantastic advent maneuver whenever they don't know what they are supposed to do. I want a single pack and a single pack only to walk into us. Moving to position. Done. Position bestätigt. All right. Just need to come a bit closer and the trap will trigger. It's pretty much the, much the opposite of coming closer. Damn it! I just want the trap to trigger. Nope, I'm playing the safe. Oh, come on. Now they are just standing still. Gotta hate it when they know exactly that you're kind of on the edge of vision. Please don't think for a second that they wouldn't know we're here. Couple of movements. Yeah, we need to at least wait until one of the packs moves back. Good 
good to go. Schon unterwegs. All right, careful advance. On the move. Give the fire shots. I will sense We're not alone. Come on. That's as close as I can get. Any further movement will trigger them. Okay. I do have an idea. We're going to basically set up I can do that. a trap. We're approaching them from the other side in the hopes of the AI taking a couple of steps. See, once we're no longer waiting there with Overwatch, all of a sudden they're all too keen to continue to move. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is yet another example of why the Advent AI is cheating. This will trigger, which we don't want. This will probably also trigger. No. Nope. And by the way, there are reasons why the Advent AI is cheating. I leave it up to your discretion whether or not these reasons are good. But in a nutshell, it boils down to the game was never meant to be a roguelike stealth type of game. The whole side trips and so on didn't exist in the original game. The game was always designed with the concept in mind that you're essentially moving your troop of super hardcore soldiers and the game will do whatever it can in order to make it an action-packed adventure so that you're sooner or later going to run into the enemies So that's why the enemies generally know where you are Roger that. and they will generally do their best to move between you and the mission objective so that if you're just naturally progressing you will pick up a pot. The problem with that kind of design is, as you can see, they are literally waiting to be picked up one by one. And it gets a bit bland because one could argue, why would they wait? Why are, aren't they really patrolling? Yeah. Good. Gotta admit, that's probably not leading anywhere. Got our grenade here, which is fine. We're going to move in and throw it. We can also move in here and do the same. Let's first and foremost Force take some full cover and trigger the pack. Here. Oh, surprise! Who would have thought that there are enemies? I know, shocker. Good. Let's get the mutant first. It's not even a question who. What? That guy still has full cover. Are we talking about indestructible graveyards? Okay. 
Well, we got a flashbang if that is needed. Wow, 50% is low. Let's start with the Lancer. Good. We're going to go <coughs> down a little bit closer and since this here had been a very unfortunate engagement we gotta get our flashbang going All right, stun lancer down. Still got the problem with the mutant. Can only hide behind half cover against him. Could take full cover here, but that's pretty close to the other pack. And sort of full cover here. Yeah, or we're just going to parry, which I think is the better decision. Good. The mutant is burning. We are going to take a couple of overwatch, uh, a couple of shots from a flanking position. That is good. But we're rather taking that shot. Good. Moving over here. Still can use uh, the lightning if needed. And let's try to kill the purifier. Well, the reason why I moved away is because it can potentially still explode. And we wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Good. I think we're out of grenades. So from now on, we got to be a bit more careful. No grenade, no grenade, no grenade, but everybody short of the DM has an auto loader. I would say we're continuing our movement on the high ground here. Got two packs down, one to go. Oh, come on, don't tell me they are now running into us when we don't have Overwatch. Okay. Yeah. Well. Well. For starters, let's get uh, the Mac. It's a nice little hit. Let's just continue to focus on the Mac. Thanks for the weapon upgrade, that really, really helped us. 100%, 100%, okay, can kill both of them. Fair enough. Moving, to Moving into full cover because we can kill the other one. Kill 
And that's it. Like I said, the last pack was not terribly scary. The first two with the mutants were. Status confirmed. All are Ooh. Down. Area is Spicy mission. And there we go. We're taking Advent apart one mission at a time, Commander. We got a lot of promotions, but none of the rookies can be promoted. So Hawkbite, the only one who really counted, did not get a promotion. But look at that. 30 alien Elarium, um, perfect. Even 75 alien alloys, that is fantastic. A lot of supplies, max, which we will need. And yeah, the rest is fine as well. One more day until proving ground. One more day. No, we don't want to have supplies. We had a trunk load of supplies. I think we're instead going for Intel again. I don't imagine that will be good for you and your friends. Running new course. And soon the proving grounds should be done. Got a lot of engineers. Uh, overall, our scientists and engineer counter is looking strong. Cool. Theoretically, we got the Skulljack, which, yeah, would be nice, but we're first of all going to go for Sparks. Oh boy, they are expensive. Look at that, even 10 Alarium Crystals. Holy shit. Well. It is what it is. I'll let you know as soon as we've made progress. Ten days and we're going to get our first spark, which should be pretty substantial upgrade uh, from the rookies. I'm even contemplating to uh, to which degree we might want to spend more Elarium after. Yeah, it's a trade off. We also want Psyops. And once the psionic training building is built, we don't uh, we don't need any more Elarium. There we go, Psylab. Okay, we first of all got an instant uh, autopsy. That's good. Battle scanner is not bad. Good. Resistance comp facilities, uh, the construction cost of resistance comp facility will be reduced by 50%, which is not bad, to be honest. So that's okay. On the other hand, we got a lot of money, so that's really not the shortcoming. And putting another 10 days in uh, doesn't seem to be the best idea. I'd rather go for plated armor. You never want to fall behind that research. And we did a lot of um just lab rushing so we should now profit from it as well 15 days for plated armor is fantastic it's just incredibly fast and if we play our cards right we even got the first spark very soon good let's continue making intel commander we want to set back the aliens work on the avatar project we should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Yeah, he's speaking the truth. We definitely would want to do that. Make contact here. Commander, would we'll cost us right 80 intel, so we need intel. The local resistance forces in that area. Almost done with the Avatar project. Once that finishes, we actually need to uh, hit the um, black side. So let's take a look. What did we counter? Hmm. Doesn't say here. The major problem is the avatar progress. And 
she has now upgraded can summon beastmaster pretty savage allies that can be up to so normally uh, chrysalids and starts with faceless ones but can be chrysalids and berserks later really nasty ability that's okay that's not so so much fun he's becoming stronger as well undying loyalty needs to stop I, no matter what it is we gotta stop it uh, permanent reinforcement sucks but undying loyalty just sucks so much more one more week until the next facility and once that is created we're a bit in a tough spot could go for that additional resistance contact which we would need in order to go into Europe hmm do we need a lot of excavation speed next month probably not you are the boss. and there are quite a few supplies which is fantastic see we got one more contact so we can essentially now make contact to Eastern Europe uh, Eastern Europe but we got to get more Intel soon we're probably going to go for the black side facility nonetheless and that is exactly what we would need a hundred Intel so that would bring us to around 140, 150, almost enough for two um, hops. So we could go contact with Europe, build a tower there, contact with North America, do the facility. Because once you do a facility, everything else comes to a halt. The other facilities won't continue producing their blips. So. It's actually quite helpful to do that and a scientist on top of that will increase our research just a tiny bit so that's not bad either so from a building perspective Yeah, can't really check the costs, but I'm pretty sure we could go for the Psy Labs soon. Yeah, we we need that extra power. Can't upgrade the resistance ring. I don't want to put another engineer here just to maintain the power. So I think we could, with the given Alarium, uh, go for the Psy uh, training. And that would be a huge advantage for us because we can already start training Psyops right away. I could even probably upgrade it. I'm not sure about uh, the Alarium costs for that. We got one spark on the way. That's uh, That's for sure. We could use some more intel in order to buy Ilarium and that could afford us more sparks going forward. It's neither the supplies nor the um, alloys at that point that, well, the alloys may be partially so we could get one more spark. Uh, but overall they are costly so can't just rush all of them. They are also pretty good though. So. Yeah, let me think uh, that through a bit. We might also want to do the school jack next, uh, just so that we have done it. I suppose it's another means of just getting and stopping the avatar project for a while. We need to stall out at the moment with the resistance ring. I mean, yeah, we're soon done with the resistance. We got one reduce avatar progress uh, here. I think that's pretty solid. I'm not sure if we do have the right um, soldiers to do it but yeah I would 
I would like to go for it. Let's check once we're done. Other than that, Intel isn't bad. Of course, another Templar would be fantastic, probably even better than the Avatar Project Reduction. Yeah. So from that standpoint here, because we are currently missing a lot of covert action benefits, we might want to go for PSYOPs sooner. So really do the clearance and then essentially right on top of it, start building. There are some more crystals here, but for that excavation, we need three. Likewise here. As an exposed power coil here and here. Perfect, unfortunately, like very, very deep down. Pretty much buried. Yeah. Gotta clear that now and do the PsyOps and the Guerrilla Tactics course almost good to go and I feel then we do have a pretty solid foundation there's there are still a few buildings that we're missing since we're building out of order we don't have the infirmary we don't have the training grounds and we do not have um, a defense matrix as well which could prove to be problematic uh, once we're being shut down because for now I don't foresee us with the way that we're progressing on the resistance ring to immediately finish everything in time we're probably going to be shut down once or twice in this run yeah other than that i mean it's looking uh better than before we're having the spark on the way and soon the psyops so the run starts to unfold and that's what i wanted to see cool which brings us to the end of uh, today's run if you like what you've seen Feel free to uh, comment and leave a like on the video that would help the channel and we're seeing each other in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.